Hey guys, Dan is almost everything 84, and we're out here camping today. I have a cool review of the EcoFlow Delta, which is the world's strongest battery generator. So before we start just hooking everything up, there's a couple things to know about this, which makes it really unique. First of all, it's 1300 watt hours, so that's a pretty big battery uh, with 1800 watts output. And the really cool thing is you can recharge this from zero to 80% in one hour uh, with AC. So this only weighs 30 pounds and if we go over to the right side of the unit You'll see that there's four USB ports two 60 watt USB C ports Now we're on the left side of the unit and you'll see that there's six AC ports that give out six watts a piece There's also a DC port on the bottom there um, that I already have something plugged into Okay, so we're back on the right side of the unit now where those USB ports were, and you'll see that the screen's off. So let's turn the unit on. This is a pretty intuitive screen. We're already filled up at capacity, um, and nothing's really running yet, as so you can see. the first thing we're gonna take a look at, and since we're out here camping with the baby today, we have the bottle warmer. So we're gonna come over here and turn on the DC. And the bottle warmer has a timer, so we'll get that that on uh, for just about 10 minutes and as you'll see on the screen over here we can see that some of the power is being drawn on already all right as you can see we have the bottle warmer in there 69 hours left if we just kept this thing going um, drawing 19 watts so what we're gonna do now, it's getting a little chilly out. We're gonna put the uh, electric space heater in and that plugs into the AC ports on the back. That panel's already on because of the DC from the bottle warmer. We're gonna put that on. That's probably gonna significantly cut the power um, life down out of this. So let's take a look at the screen. Yep, well, we went down to 20, 28 hours and now we're drawing the 46 there as you can see. So this thing's obviously, um, blowing out some significant heat, so it's gonna use a lot. Let's see if we put it on a little higher. Oh yeah, so now you could see we would only get really maybe an hour of just blasting heat out. This is just gonna draw a lot, a lot of amps and a lot of watts. One thing to mention too is that this heater draws 1500 watts when you have it on max. Um, so it's not really a practical thing to have out here, but if you need to heat up a little, something you might leave on for 10 minutes or so, uh, but you're certainly not gonna just run off this. You'd have, you'd have no power left after an hour. All right, so as I said, it was getting a little chilly out. We have the bottle warmer going, we have the heater, the space heater on low um, and you can see that we have just about 20 29 hours or so now we plugged in a heated blanket and let's turn that up to medium and take a look at the screen so as that gets heated up you can see we drop down now to 10 hours and you can see the wattage on the screen there okay so uh phone is uh getting a little low on the battery so we're gonna go ahead and plug this usb in and we're gonna just turn this panel on, and now that's on. And that really doesn't add too much to it. You see, we lost we lost an hour, an hour there. And you gotta remember, everything is cumulative, right? So the more things you have going at once, obviously the more drain on this unit. At any time I could stop one of these things, and we'll probably get some significant uh, reserve back. So another way to get power to this unit, uh, to charge it, especially when you're out camping like we are today, is through solar panels. And I have some universal solar panels here but the, uh, the unit's gonna come with MC4 to XT60 connectors via the input. So really any solar panels that you buy that are made for these power units should have the right connections or a universal kit to do that. And it takes about, with really bright sun, uh, probably in the summer, about four hours to charge this fully. But like on days like this in the Northeast, uh, it's gonna take a lot longer than that. But we're getting some charge from it right now. 
Looks like I uh, got to plug in the air compressor, put a little air in the tire. Runs on DC. vacuum real quick. At the end of the day, this unit really does outclass most of the other ones I've ever bought and purchased. It's gigantic. It has a tremendous amount of power. Um, as you can see, all the different items that we've gone through at once. Um, and it also beats using a gas generator. That's 10 times the weight. Uh, you have a fuel smell and all those other things that come along with uh, maintaining a mechanical machine. And with the coronavirus at full bloom, I know this is gonna come in handy, not only out here um, at our leisure, but at home when if anything ever goes wrong or we need power. I feel pretty safe and secure knowing that I have this reserve on hand.